Hello and welcome to the tip of the week. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hooves Mobile Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Staples. So this week I wanted to talk to you guys about bathing. How often should you bathe your pet? Is there too much? Is there too little? What should you be bathing them with, etc. Um, so obviously mostly we're talking about dogs because dogs are the, the main um, species that people tend to bathe on a routine basis. Obviously horses need to be bathed as well and some cats will let you bathe them but not all of them so be careful don't get scratched. Um, as far as the dogs you want to bathe them about once a month or less. Um, so if you bathe them too often then you can actually decrease their natural oils in their skin and cause their skin to get too dry and um, they can even get uh, different skin infections and irritations and things like that. So you want to try and only do it every six, four to six weeks, uh, not much more often than that. Obviously if you've just given them a bath and they get into a mud puddle, you can give them another bath, but just on a routine basis. Try and keep it not less than every month. Um, as far as how much is too little, you know, when they start to get dirt in their hair, then or their hair gets coarse, then they need a bath. So for some breeds, that's every month. For other breeds, that's once or twice a year. Um, so it just really depends on your pet. The main thing is not doing it too often. Other things that can help with the shedding and the dandruff and the dry skin is fatty acids. The one I like is Palatec FA Plus because it has all the vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids. It's just a daily vitamin that you can give your pet. It's a chewable, they like it, and they take it just like a treat. So that's a great thing to do. Um, what products you want to use, please, please, please stay away from the flea and tick shampoos. Those are extremely irritating to the skin and drying, and um, I have seen skin infections from that. So you want to stick with an aloe oatmeal base. Um, you want to make sure you're using a pet shampoo. Don't use human shampoos, even if it's the baby shampoo. Don't use those because um, they're not made for pets. So stick with an aloe and oatmeal pet-based shampoo. For the horses, most of you horse people like to bathe your pet, your horses, so um, they can be bathed whenever it gets really dusty and windy and, and they need a, a bathing. Especially now in the summertime, we do see a lot of allergies and this can lead to itching and sores. So if you have that concern, let us um, take a look and we can see what shampoo would be best for your horse. Otherwise, there's lots of options. The mane and tail is a great one. And if you have any other questions or concerns, please give us a call. Uh, we're more than happy to, to answer them, and we'd love to see you and see your comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.